All right, this is Calibos, and this is Beyond the Skies. Now, I have completely forgotten what I was planning on doing as far as that goes. Uh, I did have some plans for the episode, but I got sidetracked. So I have not yet finished making, you know, upgrading my armor to Terra Steel. Uh, mostly what I've been doing is killing Endermen, because they're freaking everywhere. Um... Yeah, I mean, at this point, I, I have a few Ender Pearls saved around 14. So you'll notice that I've made a second modular storage. Uh, that's because this one is nearly full. I'm hoping that we're going to get into some power right now. Oh, right, 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 right. I remember some things. So we, we have some plans, and we're going to go into Tinker's. So let's grab these, and let's grab, grab some glass really quick. So I have no idea what the quest requires, but let's let's look at the uh, the quest really quick. Oh look, we have some seared bricks. Um, so let's make this. So if we make nine, it gives us twelve. Uh, which is quite a few of them. Uh, now we need a controller, which gives us some more. So let's look at Tinkers. There's a lot of stuff in Tinkers. So, I don't remember what it's called. Okay, whatever. Controller. There we go, one of those. Uh, we're probably also going to need a tank. But let's uh, let's see all the goodies that they're willing to give us for free. Which gives us more bricks. I mean, they are not joking about this stuff. Gives us glass, casting table. Gives us gold, casting basin. Gives us iron, how about a drain? And I think that's a drain. Gives us glowstone. Slime boots. We're not as worried about slime boots, I think. So let's check in here for iron. Iron. Four times nine is what, 36? Uh, oh my gosh. These guys are everywhere. So iron... Oh. So let's... Let's put that in there, and put that in there, and put that in there, and put that in there, because we... I don't really know why we... Oh yeah, I forgot I've got the... the belt that lets me jump super high. Okay, so where do we want to put the smeltery? Um, it's probably for the best to put the smeltery... We don't honestly need this anymore. Do we have a bucket in here? Bucket. this up just a tad. Alright. So yeah, we, we don't... Ooh, that would have been a mistake. 
We don't really need super much. I'm not sure why we got that, but I guess it they could come in handy. I'm not gonna like say that it's absolutely not. So one, two, three, four. So let's edge this over slightly. What we can do is we can do this. We'll put the mushrooms on here. And uh, no one will know. This will be our secret, right? Our secret. Exactly. So these things need, they have a base. Um, you can put it into the ground a little bit if you like. Uh, this is the most common design, although you can vary it quite a bit, as I recall. Now, you'll notice that I am skipping the corners. They are not necessary, 100% not necessary. Um, so, I would typically put the tank here. And I will show you why in a little bit. Again, corner's not necessary. So we now need a drain. Uh, we'll put the drain here. Put the drain here. I'm sure, it'd be fine. Now, the casting basins are nice, but unless a recipe specifically calls for it, I, I typically don't tend to use them. Uh, we'll put one of these here. We need a controller now. Oh, that's that's new. I wonder if that's a. Uh, the one probe or JEI or something. So anyway, either way, you'll notice that this has lit up. It now has sparkles and stuff like that. So we'll do this, and we'll do this, and we'll do... Let's see, seared. We'll grab another stack of that. Two, three, okay. So, how about some thermal expansion? So, if we look at We get these, and we get these, and we want to do a servo. What are these called? Servo. on the whitelist ignored uh, I forget but it may there we go so now that is going going to consistently make cobble uh, or pull cobble out and consistently turn cobble into lava 
So now, uh, these are cool, but they will break if the contents are extremely hot or cold. But we can upgrade these. I thought. Um, we may need invar. Let's see, we may have gotten some invar from it. Invar. Invar. So invar is pretty simple stuff to make. I seem to recall that it's nickel and iron. <sighs> so invar blend, iron and nickel. So let's grab some iron. Iron. Let's grab some nickel. Nickel. We have a couple of that. We'll toss this in here. Now, I do believe this... Yeah, see, this is not enough heat to melt this item. That's going to be fine. So we're going to come over here, and the... the oh my gosh. The Tinker Smelteries are lava-powered. So we'll just do that... And now it should be melting. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot. Brick. Look, we have a brick. Let's check what our quest book says. So we'll need a tool forge. Oh, cactus. We'll need a tool forge. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll put the brick here. See, Invar. Pop in a gold. And then we want... Um, what is it called? So we want a clock. I just like this one, I guess. I don't know. It's a style thing. Redstone. So we need a stick. And then we need a lever. So you'll notice it has two fluids in it. If you click on a fluid, it takes that fluid to the bottom. This is an important thing to know. Typically what you would do is, uh, let's put this in here. Uh, you would simply right click that and it pours. Uh, if you put a clock on it and you can turn the clocks on and off with a lever, there we go. We would simply do this, and then it will auto pour. Take it out, it'll auto pour again. So, this is halfway automated. At this point, we would want a chest of some sort. Um, I'm kind of thinking about doing this. And item duct. We want one of those, and one of those, and one of those, and this, and that, and ignore. 
Come on. Come on, work. And it works. So then now we can just go through and take ores. Uh, say like this aluminum or something like that. Pop the aluminum in. It melts it down. And voila. Take the rest of the iron in here. Take the gold. Meanwhile, we have the invar. So we'll grab the invar. And we're going to come over here and do this. Get rid of the gold, uh, the redstone here. We want lead. Two. We'll make one crafting of this. Now we have a hardened fluid duct. So, as we previously mentioned, the hardened or realized. The hardened fluid ducts will uh, transport liquids of any temperature. So let's make another servo really quick. Oops, looks like we need some more iron nuggets. Alright, so come over here to this and get rid of that it's unnecessary anymore put that there that ignores redstone signal and now the lava is being pumped out and you're like where's the lava going I mean you've probably figured out it's not that so now uh, this setup will provide me as many cobblestone as I want um, it, it's constantly producing uh, uh, lava, which is constantly filling this. And our ores are going in here. So this is a, a pretty solid setup. Uh, it does double our ores. You'll notice that we have two blocks and six ingots in there. And 11 in here. And this only holds 18. So 18 ores equals 36. So two blocks is you know, 9 uh, is 18, plus 3 is, you know, whatever, plus 14. You get the idea. You're smart. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's basic ore doubling there. Uh, there's more we can do with this setup. So, for example, we, we do... Come on, go a little faster. There we go. So we'll pull some iron out of here. Oh yeah, these. Now, I'm not sure, but I think that I can... Ah, not these. I can recycle some of these parts. I don't remember exactly what you get. Uses the smeltery. It gives you four ingots uses in a smeltery, five ingots, uses in a smeltery. So it, I get a hundred percent return on these. So whenever we get these from uh, loot bags and stuff, we can just chuck them in here and we'll get, uh, we'll get all of the materials back pretty handy. So yeah, now the cool thing about the, the tanks, is uh, the, the Tinker Smelteries, is you can make them larger. And it has 18 spaces because each interior, uh, the interior dimensions are 3x3. Three three. So it's 9 for, one la for each layer. So 18. So the bigger you make it, the more interior dimensions it has for smelting stuff. So not bad at all. We can chuck that in there. Um, 
And if you're super excited about not making, you know, not making seared bricks the way that we did, if you put cobblestone in here, here we'll uh, we'll put two, I think it is, for per brick. It will melt cobblestone. Uh, it takes a little bit. But uh, the cobblestone will melt down into <coughs> seared bricks and you just pour it just the same. If you can't make any molds yet, use the casting basin uh, and just put in extra. I think it's four bricks per block. Uh, so you'll need eight cobblestone uh, to make a, a, uh, a seared block. And if you want to, to convert the block to bricks for, uh, you know, aesthetic purposes, you can. I don't remember exactly the method. Yeah, see, it's seared stone. So now there's this. Um, next step along this chain. Uh, looks like we're going to have to stop here because it's about 21 minutes now. But the, uh, the next step on this chain is we're going to go into, I wonder if there's a way to make oil. Oil, crude oil. So we can get crude oil from other planets. Um, but we'll make a Coke oven because that'll get us into steel. Um, and now that we have enough iron, we'll do one last thing. We should just stop here, though, because time. So we go to the tool station here. <clears throat> and we go harden the legs, and then we take some seared bricks. We'll need three. Basically, that's giving it a uh, uh, a better surface. Toolforge quest, and this is important because it gives you more spaces to do crafting with items. But yeah, I I think this is a good place to call it. Um, if I remember, then we're going to head along the lines of of uh, immersive engineering, water wheel, or or whatever, and we'll see how that goes. If I'll take a look at what we're producing over there, if we have enough eulorium, then what I'll do is I'm just going to go straight to an extreme reactor. Because we've got quite a bit of iron here. So we'll see what the requirements are. And because even a tiny extreme reactor could give us quite enough power to, to do really a lot of things. Um, so we'll see how it goes. So anyway, if you like the episode, leave a like. If you don't like the episode, don't leave a like. Simple as that. Questions, comments, and concerns can all go down below. If you think of improvements, you know, as far as things I should be doing or could be doing. Um, I probably should or could be doing those. Um, so yeah, you know, all that can go below and I will, you know, it notifies me whenever I get a comment, so I might as well look at them. Um, yeah, so have a good night. Thanks for coming.